Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello there. What's the matter? I can't find my sports bag. Okay. Did you have your bag with you here at the swimming pool today? Yes. All right. Then we must find it for you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's your name? It's Daisy. Daisy Fry. Do you spell that F R Y, Daisy? Yes, that's right. Two. And what colour is your bag, Daisy? It's orange, and it's got my name on it. Orange, you say? Yes. Because we've got a yellow one here. No, that one isn't mine. Three. Now, where did you last have your bag? It was on the grass outside. Next to the swimming pool or the cafe. The swimming pool. Four. And what's inside your bag, Daisy? A towel. My mother bought it for my swimming lessons. Is that the only thing in your bag? A towel? Yes. Five. Now, where do you live? My address is forty-two Top Street. Number forty-two. I know Top Street. Do you? Yes. Now, I must look for your bag, Daisy, and you must be more careful with your things. Now listen to part two again. One. What's your name? It's Daisy. Daisy Fry. Do you spell that F R Y, Daisy? Yes, that's right. Two. And what colour is your bag, Daisy? It's orange, and it's got my name on it. Orange, you say? Yes. Because we've got a yellow one here. No, that one isn't mine. Three. Now, where did you last have your bag? It was on the grass outside. Next to the swimming pool or the cafe. The swimming pool. Four. And what's inside your bag, Daisy? A towel. My mother bought it for my swimming lessons. Is that the only thing in your bag? A towel. Yes. Five. Now, where do you live? My address is forty-two Top Street. Number forty-two. I know Top Street. Do you? Yes. Now, I must look for your bag, Daisy, and you must be more careful with your things. That is the end of part two.